Yeah, guys, before he spoke with them, he spoke with us. And Matt McCluskey says, if Senate Bill 134 had been enacted sooner, his daughter Lauren may not have lost her life here that night. She'd still be alive. She would have turned 22 last month and she'd be graduating from the, from the University of Utah in May. A light, you know, has gone out of our lives. Matt McCluskey speaking one-on-one -on -one with Two News. I can't get over the... Un the unfairness of it about his daughter Lauren and a phone call back in October Lauren and Jill were having a very lively conversation I heard it I was in the next room over a call tragically cut short suddenly she said no 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 and Jill said Lauren Lauren and I came over I said what happened I don't know I um my name's Matt McCluskey then as you know I called 911 my daughter is Lauren McCluskey she was abducted while we were talking to her on the telephone they're beautiful, talented girl. Lauren was kind. Uh, she was athletic. She was smart. She was curious, intellectually curious. She was a great singer. I miss everything about, about Lauren. Murdered by a man she'd briefly dated. It must have been just the worst possible moment for you guys. It was the worst, yes. It, um, yes. Uh, I was so shocked that I, I couldn't even start grieving when we send our children to college now the family is getting behind a bill I'm here uh, to support Senate Bill 134 that could spare others the pain they live with if we save one family uh, from this experience uh, that would be all, that would be completely worth it it would require Utah's eight public universities and top technical colleges to draft campus safety plans tackling things like domestic violence and stalking this was a wake-up call like like no other. As you know, in our system... McCluskey making his voice heard before the House committee. If it had been enacted earlier, very well could have saved Lauren's life. Asking of them a simple request. Remember Lauren Jennifer McCluskey. Remember how she lived. Remember how she died. One heard loud and clear. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It passes out with a favorable recommendation, unanimous vote. That unanimous vote today sends the bill to the House floor. If it passes there, it'll end up on the governor's desk to be signed into law. Live at the U, Bruno Tumulty, 2 News.